All right, so do you remember how I just said that Clearview AI was being used all over the place to identify grainy images coming from all, all sorts of different places, including like ring doorbells? Well, guess what? Now cars can be added to that list Ooh, because uh, driverless cars are essentially surveillance platforms. They have cameras everywhere and they're constantly recording for accountability issues. But of course, that means a new data source for police to request information from. And this is being put out in training information uh, given to officers who are interacting with driverless cars. Now that might seem like it makes sense, but imagine if every vehicle driving around is a surveillance vehicle and also can scan and potentially misidentify your face and accuse you of being in an area which you were not and then would have to prove that you weren't. Um, obviously, this is not great information for people that don't like being surveilled by any passing vehicle, because right now, while somebody might have a dash cam, it's probably not connected to a giant central database that knows exactly where the car was at all times and can be easily requested, possibly without a warrant. So this new surveillance platform means that you don't just have to worry about ring doorbells recording your conversation as you walk by, you also need to worry about potentially one of these autonomous cars recording your conversation or your face or your location, and then basically having that information being put into a database that's easy to access and totally unclear as to who is going to use it, because that information could also be sold, marketed, and uh, kind of de-anonymized in various ways to track people's individual movements. So um, yeah, maybe maybe keep wearing masks. Maybe that's the solution as we, is we're just doing mask time forever because now any driverless car could be a platform that's being combined into a surveillance tool that allows for easy searching of where people were at any particular time. Yeah, I don't really trust uh, things that have cameras and sentience, but especially when it's like a thing that has like a lot of momentum that can probably destroy a human body. Or most definitely can. Those things are scary. They Yes. Uh, also, police cars were being used by San Francisco already to do autonomous license plate recognition. So mm. this means that there's a record of everybody's license plate all the time. And guess what? Autonomous cars are just one layer of processing away from being automated license plate readers. Isn't that weird? So if you were just to start processing this information, then weird, you would just have a network of surveillance vehicles that's always recording the location of every vehicle in an easily searchable database. Interesting, I wonder if anyone's thought of this. So uh, these sorts of vehicles roaming the streets and collecting information means that you basically can never lie about your location ever again, because if you're in a vehicle, its license plate could be recorded and your face could be recorded, uh, as well as if you're walking around. So basically, if you're out in public, any random object is now becoming capable of logging where you were and becoming searchable potentially without a warrant. So um, all of that is alarming and unpleasant and um, yeah, just a, a lot of surveillance news. So. Sorry to note that, but it is at least nice that Clearview got in trouble, so they won't be able to sell to private businesses and make a, an easily uh, an easily convertible way of taking these sorts of data sources and turning them into you know human faces that can be tagged and identified. Oh gosh, yeah, we've also seen where I forgot what system it was you were telling me about, but they're able to detect like who's in your car at like what point in time by also identifying uh, and, like mapping faces and volunteer co like co traveler yeah. program. Yeah, I, really yeah, I don't so, like that one. Yeah, so being able to map relationships between people, basically see who's who's traveling with who, is also an outshoot of the sort of surveillance. So yeah, if you like uh, keeping your relationships private, good luck. Because if an autonomous car drives by and catches you in the car with someone you shouldn't be, then uh, that could be trouble. Yep. I can all I can already think of the 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 stalking <laughs> that yeah. that could be done with a commercial service that does that.